How is that comfortable? Simba, how is that comfortable? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to April, Michael C, and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. It's 8.23 a.m. Stella's laying on the bed. How you doing, Stella? Good morning. Here's Boo. Boo wants to play with his dragonfly toy. This is his favorite dragonfly toy. He loves this toy. So with this toy, like, I take it out to play with him, and then I put it away. But sometimes I'll just, like, leave it out, and he'll entertain himself with it. So, like, right now, I need to finish getting ready for my day. So I'm just going to leave it here. Yes, 9 a.m. And Stella just jumped on the bed to get some pets. She was on the bed before, then she jumped down. And um, now she just jumped back up on the bed. I'm just about to give the cats their breakfast. But first, Stella's going to get some pets. Right, Stella? Right. I have to brush the cats today. I haven't brushed them yet. Hello, Stella. So, there's a live stream going on right now of the patio chairs. And last night, Hydrox was sleeping on one of the patio chairs. So I said, okay, I'll set up a live stream because people like to watch Hydrox. And just as I was setting it up, he decides to leave the chair. But I put the live stream on anyway, thinking, okay, maybe he'll come back to it. And I don't know if he, I don't know what time he came back to it, but I just checked the live stream this morning and Hydrox was on the chair. So I started going about my day and the next thing I know I started hearing Hydrox meowing. Because I have the windows open and I heard him meowing. I said, what's he meowing at? And then I heard Ditto meowing. And the two of them were meowing at each other. And I said, I bet Hydrox jumped down from his chair and sure enough he did. And when I looked out the window, he was standing near the automatic feeder, meowing at Ditto, almost like, stay away from my feeder, this is my food. There's plenty of food in that feeder, plenty of food in that feeder that is dispensed for Hydrox and Ditto and whoever else wants it, like if there's other cats that come by. So it looked like Hydrox was just being a little bit possessive of it. Right, Stella? And Stella had jumped onto the top of the cat tower to look out the window to see what was going on. Stella likes to see what goes on outside. She likes to know everything that goes on in the neighborhood. Or at least around here. Hello, Stella. Stella's purring. I don't know if you could hear it. She purrs very gently. So none of the cats wake me up in the morning. Like, um intentionally so for example earlier today before the sun came up i want to say probably like 4 or 4 30 a.m i don't know who it was i want to say it was splash and simba they were running around the house and having a really good time like there was a lot of playing going on and a lot of rambunctiousness and that woke me up for like a few seconds and then i went right back to sleep but none of the cats um like jump up on the bed and then like actively wake me up but let me tell you what Stella does so Stella does this thing where she waits until she knows I'm awake 
Like, I don't know if she waits for uh, me to move or like maybe she waits to hear movement. I don't know what she does, but it's like she knows when I'm awake and still laying in bed and that's when she'll jump on the bed and that's when she'll like walk up to me and, and want some pets. So I think that's really nice of her to be that considerate because she doesn't actually wake me up. She waits until I'm awake and laying in bed and then she jumps on the bed. Here's Boo. Here's Splash and Simba. So the two of them were just roughhousing a little bit and that's what Stella heard and she went to know what was going on. Splash has been a bit of an instigator today. He was instigating Boo before and um, <laughs> look at Simba's face. Simba doesn't look too happy. And last night, Splash was instigating Boo also. He was like jumping at him. I'm getting ready to give the cats breakfast and I just brushed Splash twice. This is the second brush full of hair I got off of him. Like he really needs a good brushing, but it's, hard for me to do that because he runs away a lot but he's walking all around like boo does and i'm kind of just chasing him down with the brush it's 12 22 p.m right now and i just gave hijox a can of tuna because he has not been wanting to eat so i gave him some of the trader joe's turkey and giblets which he used to love and he won't eat it and the past few days i gave him the homemade raw food which he used to love only like a week or two ago now he doesn't like that either so I figured, let me give him like the stinkiest food I could find. So this is some of the wholehearted tuna for cats. And this is his second half of the can. He ate the first half of the can. And I put a bunch of herbs in it for him. He's looking kind of shabby right now. But, you know, he's an outdoor feral cat. And I can't control his whereabouts every minute of the day. And I can't control what he's eating. So he's been wandering around in the woods, doing all kinds of hunting and just you know wandering the neighborhood so i have no idea what he's been eating and i can only give him the best food i could give him and give i just gave him some fresh water also and he's been eating dry food out of the feeder so he has tons of food it's just you know when cats are inside you can control like all the variables when you're dealing with a feral cat outside you really can't control much it's a lot of it is up to the cat like how much the cat wants to like hang around and um, kind of give you um, control over him. It's 5.45 p.m. Look, I just found Simba. Simba's been laying in this cat bed. He's kind of laying half in and half out. How you doing, Simba? He hears someone outside. There's a bunch of people walking by. Okay, Simba. Here's Boo. Hello, Boo. Okay, guys, I'm going to go outside and do some work in the yard. And I'll be back in maybe like an hour. Okay? Okay. Boo's looking at Simba like, what are you doing in there? What are you doing there, Simba? How is that comfortable? Simba, how is that comfortable? It's 8.48 p.m. and Ditto just came by. Whenever Ditto comes by, Hijax like perks up. He was laying on the patio. I gave Hijax what Ditto's eating right now. So I gave him a can of the Tiki Cat tuna. He didn't want it. 
he didn't want it at all. I gave it to him twice. I gave it to him up here near the door, and then I moved it down onto the patio. He did not want it. So I'm glad Ditto's eating it. And it does have herbs in there. It has anti-parasite herbs and also has just general healing herbs. So like, I don't know why Hydrax is meowing right now. He's meowing at Ditto, obviously. What's the matter, Hydrox? There's plenty of dry food in the feeder. What's the matter, you want food also? I just gave Hydrox some food, so he's having some Trader Joe's food and also some food from Tractor Supply. I basically had some half cans or quarter cans in the refrigerator, so it's actually really cold. It just came right out of the fridge, but he ate it. And Ditto's looking very handsome. Ditto looks like he has a summer coat on. And I'm happy Ditto's eating the food. Because I would rather Ditto ate it than a raccoon or a possum. It's 9.43 p.m. And Simba just ran into Boo's room. And I was like, what's going on? And he heard something. And do you see what's going on here? There's baby raccoons. So there's at least three. There's some there. I don't know if Hydrox is on the patio chair. You can't see from here. So there's two eating a plate of food there. And then there's one there. And I think the mother is eating whatever's left of the dry cat food. And I don't know why this camera is zooming in because I did not press zoom on it. That's really weird. So what happened yesterday was I heard like a raccoon fight and I look outside and it looked like the mom was uh, shooing away the babies. I, I'm assuming this is the mom raccoon eating and like I heard the raccoon fight going on near the feeder and then I saw the babies running away and I was like, that's weird. Why is the mother being mean to the babies? I don't know if that's the thing that raccoons do. But um... Yeah, so there's a bunch of baby raccoons on the patio right now with what I'm assuming is the mother. It's 8.40 a.m. Stella is laying on my towel. I just got out of the shower a little while ago. This is what Stella does. She has to lay on my towel. And this is what Boo did to the hallway rug. He was just laying right there, which is why I got the camera out. I walked down the hall and there was Boo on this mess of a rug. So, um... Yeah, that's what Boo likes to do. Good morning, Boo. Look at this. I don't know where the cat's got this Christmas tree. Good morning, Simba. Simba loves laying in this round tub, right, Simba? So what I was saying is I don't know where the cat's got this Christmas tree. I thought maybe they ate all the decorations off of it, but no, the decorations are on this side. Boo, are you playing with it? Who's playing with that? Look at Boo, he's on a whole pile of scratch and rolls. We've been playing with this dragonfly toy this morning. So what I do with this toy is, first I play with it, you know, like a wand toy, and he likes to swat at it. And then what I do is, I literally just walk around the house and I drag it on the floor like this, and the cats go crazy chasing it. Like they go nuts, they all four of them end up running around the house. Get them all worked up too. Boo, Boo is all worked up right now. Remember that cats are really cute when they're playing, but they're in hunting mode. And this is when, you know, you want to give them some space because when they're in hunting mode, sometimes they will kind of still be in hunting mode if you try to like pet them or something like that. It's almost 3 p.m. and look at what's going on here. Stella and Splash are cozied up together on the bed and Boo just jumped on the bed. He was on the cat tower. And Simba has been trying to butter me up for some dried sardines or dried minnows.
Stella and Boo are five years old. I don't know their exact birthday, so I just estimate it for some time around the middle of June. And this is what they're having today for dinner. Look at these, aren't they cute? What this is, is one of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Medallions, which I think they're making smaller. I could be wrong, but to me these look smaller than they were in the past. And these are one ounce medallions, so there's another uh, part of a medallion that they're each getting. So they're each getting 1.25 ounces of medallions. And then there is part of a squeeze up on top as icing and part of a meaty stick as a candle. So the cats will hopefully enjoy their meal. Happy birthday, Boo. Happy birthday, Stella. You guys are five years old. There's your birthday dinner. Now the big question is, will Boo eat his food? Uh, because he doesn't really like the Nature's Variety uh, raw food. He, the last few times I've tried to feed it to him, he did not eat it. So it'll be interesting to see if he eats his food, maybe because it's a birthday cake for him. Maybe he'll eat it, hopefully, fingers crossed. All the other cats should because they like, they like that food. Usually the first thing they do is lick off the uh, squeeze up. That's what Boo's doing. See how Boo licked off the squeeze up? And then he might eat the meaty stick. Looks like Simba's just biting into his. Yep, see? See what Boo did? There's no crunchies also. Okay, birthday boy, I put some crunchies on yours. I kind of pushed them into the top of the little cake and I pushed them into the pieces. Let's see if Boo will eat eat the food or is he just going to eat the crunchies off the food? You know, he's really smart. Meanwhile, Splash has eaten everything except for the meaty stick. It's actually a Webox stick. Oh, I think it's a fish flavored Webox stick. Simba loved his food. And it looks like Stella's enjoying hers also. Yeah, this was a hit with the cats. It was a special meal. Stella loves this food, so that's why this was their special meal. They haven't had this in quite a while. And for Boo, his special meal is always canned food. And here he goes trying to pick all the crunchies off the food. So what's going to happen is if he only eats the crunchies and none of the rest of the food, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix it up with some canned food and we'll see if he eats that. Okay, this is what Boo left on the plate. So... I'm going to try again with mixing in some canned food. Today I found this in my cat toy stash. It's another dragonfly. It's a new dragonfly for Boo because he tore all the wings off the last one. And I hope Simba does not break this new wand. It's also a new wand toy that I have it on. So Boo should be very happy. He already loves it. He already loves it. You know it's just a matter of time until he uh, bites the wings off this one also. He definitely likes it more with wings. He goes crazy over these dragonflies. Simba says he's going to move over. Because Boo gets too wild. Stella's sleeping on top of the cat tower in the bedroom. She had a very big dinner. She ate all the food that Boo left on his plate as well as well as all of hers. Oh no, look, it's only been about 10 minutes and Boo already has one of the wings off. He already has one of the wings off. <sighs> Come on, Boo. Well, at least he's really been enjoying it. Boo loves it, right? And Simba's watching. Tim is laying there watching. Thank you for
for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.